everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to recreate one of my favorite tutorial, which I used to watch when I was studying animation and VFX. When I was a student, I saw this tutorial and I was mesmerized by the work done by the artist, right? So suddenly today I found its working file and thought why not to share or why not to recreate this tutorial inside new so yes today's video is going to be a very interesting video and in today's video we are going to see how we can add module flash inside new without wasting any time let's get started okay as you can see over here i have a footage in this particular footage the character is pretending to shoot someone so what we have to do we have to add a 2d module flash element in this footage and we have to make this shot live right so here I have a module flash which will come in one frame and it will gone, right? So what I'm going to do, uh, first thing first, I am going to find out which frame we can add our module flash. So uh, if I'm going over here, probably frame number six or seven will be a right contender to add my module flash. So I'm going frame number seven. I'm choosing frame number seven. You can choose probably six. So on frame number seven, what I'm getting, but this particular footage is on frame number four. You can see over here, right? So what we have to do, just go over here and you need to change from frame to start at. And in start at, I'm going to type, it should start from frame number seven, right? So I'm going over here and you can see from zero to six, it's, it will be static and from frame, frame number seven, it will work. So we will animate that thing later. Now I'm going to check my footages. This will be 720 and 480 and this will be 2048-1152. So what I need to do, I need to take a reformat node and probably I'll reformat as per my composition. Again, I'm going to take a merge and this will be my background and this will be my foreground. And if I'm going to check, nothing is matching because we have to match it on frame number seven. So since you can see the orientation is bit flipped. So I'm going to take a node called mirror and I'm going to add it. And in mirror, I'm going to flip it horizontally, right? And after that, what I have to do, I have to add a transform node as well. And in transform, I'm going to put my anchor point from here to here and let's fix it, right? So I'm going to fix it somewhere around here. And as you can see, my rotation is not matching. So I'm going over here and probably I'll try to match my rotation, something like that. And also scaling is too big. So I'm going to scale it down probably 0.5 or 0 0.4. 0 0.5 will be a good start. And also I can rotate a little more, something like that. And once we are satisfied, what we have to do, we have to animate this merge as well, because we don't want this module flash from frame number seven, six. We want only on frame number seven. So I'm going over here, right click, set key, go to frame number six, put it zero and all thing is done. So seven, boom, gone, right? So after that, what also we have to do, we have to add some sort of glow and um, some sort of core to it because I have core, but not that much. So how I can do that? So I am going over here. I'm going to put dot node and I'm going to take a glow, right? And in glow, I'm going to add effect only. And this time we are going to glow it in our two steps, right? First step will be the bigger glow and second one will be the inner core, right? So probably I'm going to enhance it little more and I'm going to take a merge and probably I'll add it in a plus mode, right? So after that, I'm going to take another glow and this time in this glow, probably I'll create my core. So I'm going to increase my tolerance probably like this, like this. Yes, this will be good. And I'll make some space and I'll add a merge one more time and I'll merge it something like that. Let's make some space as well. And same way I'm going to add it in a plus mode, right? So if I'm going to crunch my gamma down, you can easily see I have core, right? 
so it's pretty important to make anything like if you are comping or if you are adding any kind of fire burst fire glow muzzle flash you need to create your core now if you can see i am having pretty weird black edges right so how we can fix it just go to merge and in output only add rgb don't add rgb a so because alpha is doubling that's why it's coming black or in this particular merge i'm going to add rgb only so now it's pretty fine but glow is too much so what i can do i can go over here and probably i'll reduce it down same way if i think it's glowing too much no it's it's all okay and in this particular glow i'm going to add some sort of orange tint so i'm going to add a grade node and in gain i'm going to add little orange yellow orange some sort of things right something like that now if i'm going to play you can easily see i'm having a good muzzle flash shot right but one thing is missing because the frame frame number 7 uh, where our muzzle flash is coming so probably it will impact our environment as well so how we can do that it's pretty simple let me show it to you so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a roto node you can do it by using keyer as well so what you can do let me show it to you you can take a keyer node and probably you are going to find out your highlights and you can do that it's all up to you but since i am using my roto shapes so that i can define shape in a better way so probably i am thinking the impact of muzzle flash will come in this area on his hand so i am going to mask his hand so you don't need to be very precise but i'll recommend you to do precisely because it will come on single frame and probably i i i think uh, this area will be on impact zone so i am going to add this area as well and probably his face so i am going to add few shapes something like that and probably i think on his shoulders as well right so let me do it quickly right probably on his this area as well so you have to define where you want your impact should be probably like this on this area as well so it's all up to you you can add as much as you want right probably i can add some over here or over here it's all up to you i'm not going to do that all but major part will be this area so i'm going again i can take this and probably i will do this and after that what i'm going to do i'm going to take a merge node let's add a dot node over here and let's connect my b pipe over here and a pipe over here right and over here i'm going to to mask i want cut out okay after that i'm going to take a grade node and probably i can merge it over here in screen or plus mode whatever you want something like that right but as you can see i am having bad pretty bad hard edges right so what i can do i can take a blur node and probably i'll blur it i'm not going to merge it on plus mode probably i'll do it in screen right and in grade i'm going uh, to add a little gain and probably i'll add a little tint to it i think it's too much but let's let's see what's coming so let's play it and as you can see my glow is staying forever right so how we can fix it it's pretty simple just go to frame number 7 and here here i have to right click set key and let's frame number 6 let's do it zero so what will happen as you can see it will come and it will go something like that let me fix it now 7 i want on 8 i don't want so just skip it zero so what will happen the impact of that fire will come only on frame number 7 where my muzzle flash is there just see can you see that but i think it's too much it's coming too much too harsh so what i can do i can just go to grade and probably i'll lower it down uh, i think very pretty subtle i want right something like that and probably i'll add more blur to it 
So what will happen when you are going to play it? Just see, boom, isn't it good? Now you can see your module flash is affecting his face, his hand, this area, this area, and it's quite good. Now what else we can do to make my shot much cinematic? I'm going to take a grade note. Let's color correct it. Probably I'll add some contrast to it by lowering gamma and cranking up my gain. And I can take one more grade note. And this time in gamma, I can add little blue to the shadows. Something like that. It's all up to you. It will be your choice. And let's add orange to my highlights. You can do whatever you want, but just see what I'm getting. And it's now pretty good. Take your time to do color grading and all. And now if you can see, it's pretty good. Isn't it great? So we are having our module flash. We are having our smoke. If you can see if we are having our impact of that module flash to the environment, to the character's face, to the character's sh shoulder over here. So I think this is the way how we can start adding our module flash to our shots. And it's pretty basic. You can think you can start adding, but don't forget to add impact of that particular module flash to the environment. So I hope this video will help you to understand the process of adding module flash or 2D element in your footages. And if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.